Welcome to Milak Online Tutorial. Now, let us look at uh, question 30 of the NECO 2025 objective question. And it that what must be added to y squared minus 7y to make the expression a perfect square. Now, here are the options. Now, first of all, let us recall that for a perfect square expression, here is the way it's hold to be. Let's see you have a, a plus b all squared. This is give us a squared plus 2ab now plus what b squared okay now if this is a minus let me just put this minus here plus or minus okay now this will actually give us plus or minus then this one remains what plus okay now it means that uh, this x this expression here is is hard to be in this form so we are actually looking for the b squared okay to complement this uh, expression here to make it what a perfect square so how do you go about it first of all y squared minus 7y now take the coefficient of y which is what negative 7 so you have negative 7 now divide this coefficient by 2 okay now raise it by 2 so we end up having 49 all over what 4 so it implies that plus 49 over 4 when added to this makes it what a perfect square so when you say y squared minus 7 y then plus 49 all over 4 now this is now a perfect square so 49 oh, 49 over 4 when added to seven, uh, y squared minus 7y makes it got a perfect square. So, D is the right option. Thank you and God bless you.